Hello, welcome back, or welcome to. Today we're going to be checking out a game from Emika Games called I'm Counting to Six. Uh, Emika Games is a solid developer, probably one of my favorites in the indie horror scene. They've made games such as Summer 58, September 7th, April 24th, uh, Father's Day, Hazing Night Shift. Uh, they've made a ton. And they're some of my favorites because they truly hone in on that atmospheric, psychological kind of aspect that I'm a huge fan of in indie horror especially. And I know that it is criminal that I have not played this one yet, but I saved it for YouTube. So, without further ado, welcome to I'm Counting to Six. Help us. I don't belong here. Well, I'll gladly go right back home. <laughs> oh, we got our phone out. The phone's not working. No signal. I think I drove into the village. It's getting late. I'm gonna look around. I need to find somewhere to call from. And this is some good ambience already. Great ambience already. This is very like... It'd be lame to say Silent Hill. Just simply because fog. <laughs> we see fog equals Silent Hill. A little cabin of some sort. We see like a garage or a shed or something. We can get warm, it is raining. Please help me, I need to call an emergency. I don't think anyone's home. Or they might be, we just might not want them to be home. Was that a scream? It did sound like it. <laughs> Maybe we can kick it into high gear here and start sprinting. Oh, there's a telephone. How did they know I was going to be here to pick this up? Huh? Someone's got some explaining to do. Does not work. Oh. Did you just slam your door? If you don't want visitors, fine. Just say so. You gotta slam your damn door, though. Kind of rude. Man, Summer of 58 and September 7th were so phenomenal. So I'm... Oh. I know this game came out a while ago. Uh, what are you doing here? sitting in a boat on the lake when I saw the fog and had descended on the water. I tried to swim to the shore but I couldn't see anything. Finally, when I touched the shore, I rather ran home. In the house, I saw that my wife was frozen like a statue and my dear children were motionless. I ran out of the house in fright to find at least someone who could help me. And then did you freeze too? Oh. My hello there. I don't know if you were there before. Can we steal his boat. Hello, can you help me? If I run backwards, nothing can hurt me. The 
Bones movie again. But a different one. into this village though. It was just a quaint, quiet place. This is breaking in and ring. Now you done it. You know, we could just hop over the fence and like go back home. This is a possibility. Oh, the fucking bear. Hey, motherfucker. The classic bear is back. I warned them. Those dirty little kids shouldn't have bullied him and his doll. I told their parents, but... What's the use if they're the same themselves? They also called me crazy. Oh. Confused if this is like paranormal or like... Virus or... What the case is exactly. Visually, this is fantastic. Reburning. Oh. Flashbacks. That was interesting. What so is. now a cat on my lap. Oh, fuck. Mannequins, uh... Why well, do I kind of look like the gingerbread man from, uh... From Shrek. He looks like Gingy. <laughs> do you know the Muffin Man? Oh. He knows the Muffin Man. It's all your fault. I haven't done anything wrong to you. My only friend was my doll. But you were laughing at him, laughing at me. You even took a loved one away from me. Oh? I've shown you what it's like. You will live in agony forever, and this will not change in any way. Me when someone steals one of my pizza rolls. What the fuck? That was a weird sound. Like the laugh and then the creak and... That all sounded really, really weird. Like, cool weird. That is one thing about these games, the sound design is phenomenal. And I preach it so much, sound is everything in horror. Because it truly is. Oh shit, we're in the house now. Padded door. It's not a very good sign. I was at the old well. What I saw and what Luca told me is true. 
they have to pay for it. I have to punish them. I mean, you don't necessarily have to, but it might be fun. The old, the old coat hat and boot scare. The lighting in here is cool as hell too. No lights. We have to find a light bulb. Could light that candle. Oh, well, that didn't work. It was worth an attempt. Settle down. You need to settle it right the fuck down. Why, hello there, bear. The use of shadows. So good, too. did decide to break and enter, so. Is everyone like turning into mannequins? Is that what's going on here? The springs on the back of the bike seat almost look like is watching you. We'll lock the door from the outside. Now we're locked in. Fuck. <laughs> we fell for the oldest trick in the book. shit. Oh, hello. How the fuck are you doing? Sneaking up on me like that when I'm indecent. Uh oh. ruh ruh I wanna go. Hello, whoa, whoa, whoa. fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is making that noise? chair in the middle. What the fuck? Or 
be playing through a PSP? What's going on here? Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? True. Literally took the words from my mouth. Just a little motherfucker running across the... <laughs> Where'd he go? Kids in video games that make this shit so creepy. It's like, what are you doing? Where are your parents? had to happen. When I saw that boy through the window, I realized that he saw something he shouldn't have seen. I need to get ahead of him. Why, hello. This camera effect is really cool, by the way, too the PSP comment or whatever like I just it's like a fisheye with like night vision infrared it's pretty cool really drops your like depth of field and your view distance Hey, yo. Oh, shit. There's someone living up there. Well, there is a ladder over here. Hey, you knocked that shit off. Hey, you knocked that shit off, too. Let me just store this ladder in my pocket. Hello, little Timmy. Are you up here? Why, hello. It's little Timmy. What the fuck's going on up here? You're doing some voodoo shit. And I wasn't invited. It's been four weeks since the disappearance. Luca told me that it was the, the children's fault. He gave me a letter from his mother and he said I had to find out the truth. Little Timmy, you're a, a little creepy. I won't lie to you. Is there something walking on the roof? Is that my car? Two doors are car. One, I lock the doors. Two, I close my eyes. Three, find a place for yourself. Four, don't breathe. Five, feel your heart pounding. Six, wait. A ladder has fallen, must jump, or hear me out. We stay up here. Thoughts? Thoughts? Is I personally think that is a stellar idea. It's loud as fuck. And little Timmy's still watching. That note's still the same. Are they just... 
They make such great use out of small spaces. What the fuck are you? Grandma, you've been dead for like 13 years. Uh, are you back in my house? Oh shit, we're gonna get jump scared when we turn around. Now, how do I uh, get behind there? Oh. Uh, yeah, Granny, um, your grave site's the other way. There's a secret door here. There must be keys in a crowbar somewhere. Open the lock, use the hints. Lock, own key. I don't know if I want to. I can only say what I feel to my doll. Luca always listens to me. Luca is my friend. So why is Luca spelled differently both times? You were sitting in a nice tune, Granny. Oh, she's picking up speed on that sewing machine, though. Have some D fucking licious. have to search for them all like because that one was pretty decently hidden Faster. Lock. Window key. Oh shit. I don't know if I want to be faster. No 
drawer. I found it. Hi there. photos in these games i really want to know where they where they find these photos and if they're like actual real photos or like generated or it's been two weeks since my mom disappeared there's no news i went to the precinct officer but he doesn't care about it he said she left because of me but i know she wouldn't do that she loves me something must have happened to her Or, hear me out, you're wrong, oh, oh no, why were you touching my butt, uh oh, a slimy ass noise what was that slimy ass noise let's unlock these chains Is this place is this like a oh hi all all the friends I'm, I have a feeling the mannequins are uh, are good friends good buddies good lads what the hell is going on in here though I'll understand if you're mad at me. I knew that deep down you wanted to have real friends and you missed the live communication with other people. I couldn't let anyone get close to our family. Otherwise, they would have found out our secret and what happened to me. Now would have happened much earlier. You were kind to everyone, but they didn't deserve it. I wanted the best for you. My mother, your grandmother taught me many things. And she also told me not to trust people because they are afraid of people like me. Uh, like who, mom? What are you like? Also, I'm just saying. Saying I was spot on with that. Uh, that was grandma. Granny's 12 steps out of the grave. <laughs> Why are you clapping? Why are we clapping? What are we clapping for? Oh. Oh. I am armed now. I'm armed now, motherfucker. Hi again, Grandma. nice seeing you i'll put you back in the okay fuck off when did we get in dead silence phenomenal movie by the way probably in my top 10 of all time come on turn on i don't really want to turn around Dummies do freak me out. Oh. 
like dolls and mannequins I'm fine with but a dummy I don't know what it is it's just about the mouth I think freaks me the fuck out hi nice seeing you here Mannequins are friends, remember? What are those fucking eyeballs, though? You were staring into my soul. Uh, can you repeat that? I'm trying to help you. Oh. There's forces fighting on a separate plane of existence. Them. Three, to find a place for yourself. Is there a chair? Four, don't breathe. I was told I could breathe again, but I am. Fuck the system. Oh. Let's push it over. Oh. Now, why would you do that? What caused you to have that thought that, hey, maybe I should put this knife in this mannequin? Well, alrighty then. Oh shit, it's dark as hell. Six kids bullied me. They mocked me because I was too kind. Because I'm not like everyone else. They were involved in the murder of my mother. Oh shit. I was able to punish five people. They wanted so much to go home to their mom and dad. I let their parents find the children on my doorstep. But what they saw, they couldn't believe with their eyes. Their children were mutilated. Now they're going to suffer just like me. Well alrighty then, that's a little hardcore. Five five zero one four seven one two six. Hopefully we don't have to remember that. Need a screwdriver. Finding a 
a screwdriver and all this junk. There's a lock here. It's just one creepy fucking basement. Hey, you in there, you got a screwdriver. I could use one. Flathead or Phillips, either will work. I was a screwdriver, where would I be? I guess I would be in a board that works. Hey, you settle the fuck down. I don't need none of that shit right now. I don't have time for it. I gotta unscrew this vent and crawl through it because why the fuck not? I'm already dead. Alright, we might as well have some fun figuring shit out while I am. Oh. Now, that's not cash money. So we are practicing some voodoo shit. That's a Necronomicon. <laughs> Dear son, don't be afraid of death. Death is rebirth. You've done a lot. A new stage has arrived. Let them think they've beaten you. It will destroy them. this motherfucker. Performing seances and shit alone. we go through the mannequin door again. Hello. I knew one of them was going to do it. Come here. Don't be afraid. Come here. Maybe I will. I'm just hanging out, I see. Well, shit. Now you done it. Now you done it. I don't want to look to my left. Look at those creepy ass eyes. Guess we go this way. Hello, Timmy. gonna scratch a sick beat. Alright, well both of these doors are locked, so I don't know what the point of pushing me this way was. I would have scare my ass when I go back. tools here. Don't mind if I do, little Timmy. We'll cut them both. 
Where do we want to go first? Bye, little Timmy. Thank you for your help. The fuck? I saw what he did to one of us. Someone who didn't have time to hide. It was terrible. He said that he would return us to our parents only in this form. It was true. This is the house of the one who kidnapped the children. People found out about everything and came to deal with it. Serial kidnapper. That's fucked. Yeah, this is actually fucked. The mannequins are all the, uh, the kids, I'm assuming, then. Maybe not even just kids. He cut out our tongue and sewed up our mouths so we couldn't scream. He wanted us to play with him. We asked to go home. He said we were sorry, but he replied that the time... That the time would come and the parents would see us again. Fucking yikes. There it was. <laughs> the little kid. Running across the screen yet again. I don't know what it is about him. So creepy. No. Oh. You guys having to get together without me? Alright, we don't stand in the middle of that though. We walk around it. And read from our Necronomicon. We need a lighter, a doll, and candles. In order to perform the ritual, take a doll, a book, candles, a lighter, burn it in a circle, and then burn the house down. Oh shit. I mean, I would imagine we have all that stuff literally in this room. There's a doll here. The candles are everywhere. Right? I would imagine. We got a lighter. Now we're definitely gonna have to go find candles. Book. Hi there. Yet again. Yeah, I will say, uh, for these types of games, I don't necessarily play them for the scares. I mainly play them to uh, listen to the ambience and enjoy just really good sound design. Because that is Emika game strong, like strong, strong suit. No, it's all going to be down here somewhere then. Well, let me take that candle though. are in the fucking box. I'm 
Let's set up our seance circle for summoning ritual. Right, we gotta find a doll now. So there's about a thousand around. I'm not sure which specific doll. Oh, probably this one. Probably this evil fucker. God damn it. Dance doll. <laughs> Fuck that puppet. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh no, did we just release you to the world? Did we commit the apocalypse? I think we might have. Let's get out of here. I need gasoline. I'll burn this whole house down. Well, let's do it, big dog. Tell me twice. Well, about that, about getting out of this house. I know it's coming again. Gasoline and then burn it down from the outside. I didn't know we were burning it from the inside. That's my bad. We're attempting to burn it down, I should say. Because we already know this shit's gonna get put out. came from. So why don't we burn it down? Is that a dog or a cat? It's a little kit cat. Can we pet it? No. There's a telephone connection. I'm calling 911. Hello, rescue service. What happened to you? Hello, I see a house burning in an abandoned village. Call the fire, fire department. I'll explain where I am now. I recently watched a blogger. He said that he did not believe in anything paranormal and was in houses where, according to eyewitnesses, something has happened. But he didn't find any evidence until one day he arrived at an abandoned pioneer camp. To be honest, I didn't believe him. 
thought that everything you filmed was staged, but now, after everything I've seen and experienced, I realized that the world is not as simple as it seems, and we're not alone. Entities are always nearby, and until you see it for yourself, you won't believe it. I do not know why I decided on this ritual. I wanted to run, but something inside me demanded put an end to all of this. As a result, I realized that I was in this place for a reason. I have no idea what lies ahead for me. Oh, shit. Alright, so that was I'm Counting to Six. Uh, like I said, another Emika Games game checked off. I don't know why that one took me so long to play. I, Ever since it came out, it's been on my list, and I just haven't done it. Uh, like I said before, um, I don't typically play Emika games for the scares. I know that they have really, really good ones. For whatever reason, they just don't get me. And I don't know why. It makes me upset. <laughs> but at least I'm still able to appreciate the sound design and the effort and everything that goes into them. Because I do think that this is probably one of my favorite indie horror devs. But yes, overall, not too bad. I did enjoy it quite well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoyed Lolo Lo Me or this style of content, please consider subscribing. I have a never-ending backlog of horror games that you're going to be able to view right here on this channel. And if you have any other horror suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. As I'm always open to adding on to my never-ending list. But until next time, bye.